Dr. Robert Masson is one of the world's top neurosurgeons specializing in spinal injury and sports spine medicine. He pioneered the least invasive spine reconstruction technique in the world, and he's known for helping his patients, from professional athletes to weekend warriors, achieve extreme recovery from debilitating injury and disease. What did he give me? He gave me my life back. He gave me my life. He gave me freedom. He gave me health. He did such a great job, but you know, I can't imagine what I would feel like if I didn't have him. In an unexpected role reversal, Dr. Masson recently became a patient. Yeah, about two years ago, I herniated a disc in my neck and a wakeboarding injury and, and had a spinal cord compressing uh, disc herniation. And over the course of 18 months, started gradually, slowly losing function in my right hand. Of course, I was in denial at first, like so many people are. When he could no longer deny the fact that he had a potentially disabling injury, Dr. Masson began listening to his own advice, began practicing what he had been preaching for years. I started uh, treating myself the way I, I expect and, and, and counsel my patients to treat themselves when they confront me with their injury. Dr. Masson believes that patients bear as much responsibility for successful recovery as the surgeon does and that prehabilitation is as important as rehabilitation. So he went to work testing his own theories. I went into aggressive preventative prehabilitation mode where I, 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 I lost 20 pounds, I got physically stronger, I started running again, I isolated my injury, I changed every element of my lifestyle. Dr. Masson spent six months preparing for the trauma of artificial disc surgery on his neck, and the results of his efforts were immediately apparent. I walked three miles, five hours post-op. I started my training day one of my surgery. Day two, I walked five miles. Day three, I ran three miles. I was back in the gym day four, again, isolating my injury but making sure that my body was in reparative mode and in rehabilitative mode. I ended up never missing a day of work, never canceling a case. The prehab guaranteed a good outcome and guaranteed that I wouldn't become disabled by the experience. And the rehab quickly returned him to pain-free full functionality. New high-tech medical appliances combined with advancements in surgical tools and skills now offer the opportunity for rapid and extreme recovery. But without basic lifestyle modifications and enthusiastic patient compliance, the results will fall far short of what is now possible. As our technical abilities get better and technology gets better and surgery gets better, the, the, the bonus, the plus side, is if you treat yourself more, more proactively, then you get to do exactly what you always wanted to do despite your spine injury, and historically that hasn't been possible. Active baby boomers can pursue their passions for decades, and now even a potentially serious injury no longer has to sideline them. The key to avoiding injury and recovering from it is the same. The people that thrive are the people that take that burden on themselves. You know, I have to do my job, no question. But the critical part of the equation for recovery, for extreme recovery, is ownership of their personal goals and preparation.